All right, hey guys, I'm in Virginia doing a pistol one and pistol two class with these guys. Say hello, guys. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, that was so unmotivated. You guys, uh, <laughs> terrible, terrible, not motivated at all. It's like, hey, hey, I'm in pistol, pistol class with John. This is Wayman on the camera. He's a, he's a, uh, taking the class as well. So if, if the camera sucks right here, if he does a bad job, this guy, it's his fault. His fault, right? Nope. All right, here we go. All right, hey, uh, guys, I want to talk about uh, presentations coming out from specifically our number two position to our number three. I'm seeing two different things go wrong with guys, and actually a lot of stuff can go wrong. A lot of folks will be muzzled down in the dirt, which leads to a fish presentation. Other guys are staying up here with an elevated muzzle, which leads to, uh, did I say fish, fish before? Yeah. Yeah. I meant a bowl, a bowl, which means I've got no sights, no sights, no sights. They're there, and then I got cleanup work. Where's my sights? Where's my sights? There they are. Clean them up. That's bowling, and it's no good because it's not about just throwing the gun out there quickly. Once the, sights, uh, once the sights are out there, I've got cleanup work to do, and now I've got to pause to do that. What's better is a smooth presentation that allows my sights to be perfectly aligned with no cleanup work. I don't have to adjust my sight down or up or left or right. It's just out and perfect. The other thing, if it's not a bowl, I'll see a fish like this, and the same problem holds true. I don't see any sights, no sights, no sights. There they are, clean them up. And that's no good either. Uh, we want a number two. I like a five to 10 degree cant relative to the ground. I'm not trying to accomplish that. This is a natural byproduct of having my elbow in my side and my number two. So when I present, I hit my number one, two comes up and elbow and I marriage right here. Slight elevation right here that I'm not trying to accomplish. It's about a five to 10 degree cant. I'm looking at the target, I'm prepping my trigger on presentation, and I'm driving the gun out at about 80% speed. If I go 100% speed like some guys do when they're all tuned up under stress, as, my, uh, as the gun flies out and my joints kind of hit their extremity, you'll notice a little bit of a bounce in the gun. Also, it's going to cause this hand to really tense up, which is going to lead to all kinds of problems, loss of elasticity and over-gripping, and a lot of times, anticipation of the shot. That's no good either. So you're not throwing the gun out at 100% speed. It's a nice 80%. 80%, no cleanup work, and smooth, and smooth right there. Other guys are doing like the super sexy slow-mo thing, like they're uh, in their own rap videos or something. They're draw, draw, and hit the brakes and smooth like this out. And I don't know what that's about. It's like they're hitting the brakes in the middle needlessly. Go, 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 go! E smooth, sexy Instagram selfie slow-mo and hitting the brakes. It's not that. Just let the draw stroke happen smooth and out 80%. And that's what we want. It's not just about throwing the gun out there. It's having... Uh, my eyes married with the sights, my grip set, and a nice clean presentation for a fast and efficient shot. You got it? Got oh, it. yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yeah, right. You're a bunch of liars. <laughs> Y'all don't got it. You think you're experts now, huh? Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, on the line. Let's go.